Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this date, July 19, 1964, then Secretary of the Interior Stuart L. Udall designated the Fatherland Plantation Site, later named the Grand Village of the Natchez Indians, as a National Historic Landmark. The site was also added to the National Register of Historic Places on October 15, 1966. The site was deemed nationally significant for its association with the historic Natchez Indian culture in the lower Mississippi Valley and their encounters with the French colonial settlers and explorers. Between 1200 and 1730, the Grand Village served as both a political and religious center for the Natchez people. The site is believed to be the location where French explorers René Robert Cavalier Sur de la Salle and Pierre Le Moyne d'Abreville first met the Natchez chiefs and leaders. Colonists like Father Pierre Charlevoix and Antoine Simon Lepage du Prats provided various accounts of the site and the customs of the Natchez people. After the revolt at Fort Rosalie in 1729, the French and their allied Indian forces occupied the Grand Village while attacking the Natchez who were barricaded in two forts just downstream on St. Catherine's Creek from the ceremonial center. The Natchez escaped the vicinity on February 25, 1730. I'm Becky Martin Anderson. I'm the historian at Grand Village of the Natchez Indians, and this is your Natchez History Minute.